The series is built upon an idea found in Romanian mythology in which there are two races of vampires in our world, one good and one evil. The good ones are alive, the evil ones are dead, and the evil ones are constantly stalking victims, including the good vampires. And so my protagonist is a half-vampire girl who is training to be a bodyguard for the good vampires. So half of her life is spent doing that, while the other half is spent kind of enduring the things any 17-year-old would. I've always been kind of a mythology geek ever since I was really young. I was always reading folklore and myth. And actually, during my bachelor's degree, I took a class on Eastern European folklore. And a huge part of what we studied was vampire stories in Russia and Romania. And that was where I stumbled across this Romanian concept of these two races of vampires, the living and the dead. And from there, it just kind of flowed into what we now find in Vampire Academy. Rose is 17 years old, and she is a Dampir, which means she is half vampire and half human. And so she kind of has the best attributes of both races, which makes her ideal to be a bodyguard uh, and kind of a warrior in hunting down these evil vampires. Rose is not a passive heroine. She doesn't wait to be rescued. If she sees something she's got to do, she's quick to jump in and do it, even if it's not always the smartest thing to do. She has a strong friendship with the person she is training to protect, and at the same time, she has this illicit romance going on. And the illicit romance is actually, if it's allowed to progress, is going to complicate her bodyguard duties to her friend. And so she's constantly torn between where her heart is driving her towards this man uh, while trying to do what she's always been told she's supposed to do to protect her friend. And she sort of doesn't know who she should be loyal to. The next book in the series is Blood Promise, which comes out in August, and readers who know the cliffhanger in the previous book can kind of guess what's going on, but what's, what's unique about this is that it's the first book that does not take place at the school Rose attends. She's kind of out in the larger world, and so that is a, a whole new set of challenges for her as she suddenly finds herself among humans. But one thing that's so important to me is staying accessible to my readers. So for people who want to know more about the series, what's coming up, uh, contest appearances, uh, definitely keep up with me. I'm everywhere. I'm on, I have a blog. I'm on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, it's something I really try to do. So if you want to know what's happening next, uh, go find me somewhere on the web.